The United States of America, a diverse democracy that has people from all over the world with all imaginable backgrounds as its citizens. <clears throat> Excuse me, gentlemen. Is that how a good citizen behaves? Uh, we're just kids, voice lady. Kids or not, it's important to take your citizenship seriously. The USA didn't become the great place it is by people littering all over it. Looks like you need a better understanding of the key role of citizens in a representative democracy. Maybe if I begin this way. In our country, we elect people to represent us in our various levels of government. In turn, those representatives act on our behalf as they consider the many issues before them. So citizens are responsible for making sure that they voice their opinions to these lawmakers so that they may best represent our ideas in government. Hmm, maybe if we heard it from someone who was there. Whoa. Who are you? James Madison. I helped write the United States Constitution. Okay. You know, in school, you'll learn all sorts of facts about government, like who authored the Bill of Rights in Congress, as well as who was the fourth president of the United States. But really, you need to understand the bigger picture here. The big ideas that make our system of government so unique and really a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, as they say. It was back in the summer of 1787. Philadelphia was oppressively hot that time of year. I barely made it out of there alive. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway. We had just won our independence from the British, but our young country was already struggling to stick together. We drafted the Constitution to set up our national government and determine its many powers. Stop that. Where was I? Right. One of the most important decisions facing us was who should make the big decisions in our new system of government and how. Since we had just fought a long, hard war to be free of the King of England, we didn't want to have a powerful single ruler in charge, and with so many citizens spread across many states, we couldn't have our national decisions voted on by all of them. So we knew that we needed to establish a Congress where each state would elect representatives who would take their citizens' views into account when making decisions for the nation. <clears throat> so, in this system of government, which is called a representative democracy, or a republic, ordinary citizens play an enormously important role. People bring their thoughts about what should be done to their senator or representative, who in turn takes those ideas to Congress as a proposal for new legislation. Like what? Well, some of the most important things that have happened in the past have to do with defining who is a citizen and what rights citizens have. But I thought all citizens have equal rights. Well, it's been a work in progress. For example, it wasn't until 1870 that African Americans finally got the right to vote with the passage of the 15th Amendment to the Constitution. And it wasn't until 1920 that the 19th Amendment gave women the right to vote. And in 1971, the 26th Amendment lowered the minimum voting age to 18, giving younger citizens the right to vote for the first time. Every one of those changes had an impact on who could choose the members of Congress, which in turn had an influence on the decisions that Congress would make going forward. How do you know any of this, anyway? Being a ghost and all. Oh, there's this thing called uh, the, the, the Internet. Oh, have you heard of this? It is truly spectacular. But I digress. It is truly exciting to think that today we have more people participating in our democracy than at any other point in our history. We should... Oh dear, I gotta bounce. Wow, Madison is moving great for his age, huh? I have a question. Yes. When did robots get the right to vote? Uh, still working on that. Our country has made great progress since Madison's day, and much of that is due to the generations of citizens who came before us. Hold up! If we're too young or too metallic to vote, how are we supposed to change anything? Well, voting is certainly important, but being a good citizen is just as much about making positive contributions to society.
when you think about it like that, there are lots of other important ways to be a good citizen. Such as? Well, for starters, many political reforms have come as a result of social movements. Things like establishing labor laws to protect young children who were working in factories. What? Or protecting the environment and setting up the national parks. But influencing the government isn't the only important responsibility of a citizen. <laughs> During World War II, citizens banded together to help the war effort by starting victory gardens in their own backyards. Mm -hmm. Rationing and conserving food, fuel, and water. Recycling metals and other materials. Mm. Don't even think about it. And as men left to fight the war, women nationwide took up factory jobs to help manufacturing keep up with demand. Ow. Oops, my bad. Sometimes citizens have used other means to help society. Like Martin Luther King Jr. leading the 1963 March on Washington to protest segregation laws that denied African Americans equal rights. Hold on. All of those things have already been done. What can we do? You could join a group in your community to pick up litter in the local parks. Well, you could write to your city council to recommend a stop sign for a busy intersection. You could organize a bicycle race for charity, start a petition, write a letter to your congressperson, help the elderly, Oh, boy! I got the man. This'll only take a moment. Oh. Put me down, you silly robot! You're gonna make me miss my... Um, that's not exactly what I meant. Being a good citizen is about playing an active role in your community and creating positive change around you. But in order to do any of those things, there is still more to learn. Ugh, this is boring. What kind of people litter anyway? Uh -huh. Great. Well, I said we should volunteer at the library, but no, you wanted to be outside. Now, now, picking up trash might not be the most exciting thing you can do, but it is important that everyone chips in. That's what makes a democracy work. Uh -huh. Ouch! Well, you... Oh, yeah? Come get it. Guys, being a good citizen is about more than what you do. It's also about the kind of person that you are. Remember what President Kennedy said. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. The United States is an incredibly large and diverse country. So when we want to make a change in our society, like passing a new law, there are lots of individual perspectives that need to be taken into consideration. This means being able to really listen to other citizens and see things from their point of view, so you understand how an issue affects not only you, but everyone else in your community. Another key for becoming a good citizen is to be informed. Go to the local town hall events, do research on a topic, read the news. Being a good citizen also means being able to develop and clearly state the reasons for your position. And why should we have an official Platypus Appreciation Day? Uh, because, uh... Platypuses are cool and stuff? And why should we have an official Platypus Appreciation Day? Because of the many lasting contributions of the noble platypus of this great nation. Did you know that at the Battle of Gettysburg, it was a platypus who made that first charge over the line? And perhaps most importantly, we need to be willing to accommodate other citizens' points of view, sort out the facts from slogans and rhetoric, and compromise in order to move forward and get along. That is an excellent point, Johnson. We'll make sure to include that. When you take the time to listen to other people's perspectives, they'll learn from you and you'll learn from them. You can't get that kind of interaction if you just hang out in your basement playing video games. Mm -hmm. Ugh. 
Here you go. <laughs> Next for you. That is certainly better than a loss. Good work. Now, the other important aspect of being a good citizen is to be bold. Many citizens of the past found themselves in new situations they had never imagined, yet they persevered and made big changes in their community and our society by being willing to step into the unknown. Speak up and participate. You'll be proud to look around at your community and know that you made a difference.